Canada natural beauty stretches from coast to coast. Brilliant blue glacier lakes, snow-dusted mountains, ancient forests, beautiful beaches. We really do have it all in this magnificently large country. Full of dramatically varying landscapes, Canada's scenery transforms as you traverse its vast terrain. Here are the top 10 natural wonders in Canada. There are as many ways to explore Canada as there are wondrous natural attractions and riveting sights. Take a road trip through Ontario, explore the best local weekend destinations, or head out on magnificent day trips from Toronto for hiking, canoeing, and stargazing. Number 10. The Smoking Hills On the shores of Cape Bathurst in the Western Arctic, the bleak smoking hills have smoldered for centuries. A place of fire and brimstone, the area is underlain with oil shales that spontaneously ignite when exposed to air. Just to the east is the community of Polituk, the name of which means, appropriately, place of coal. Number 9. Cheltenham Badlands Badlands are tracts of heavily eroded, uncultivable land with little vegetation. It may not sound like it, but they're also pretty beautiful. Mars-like red rock landscapes stretch as far as the eye can see, windswept and barren. A hike in the Cheltenham Badlands in Caledon makes for an experience that's out of this world. Number 8. Spotted Lake. There are several things to love about the Spotted Lake in Osoyoos. First up, it's a lake that sits in the middle of Canada's only true desert, which is pretty amazing in itself. With the heat of summer, the lake evaporates, leaving mineral deposits behind in circles that look just like a leopard spot. Number 7. Della Falls. Niagara Falls is boring, said no one ever. But where Niagara has a terrifyingly powerful flow, the lesser known Della Falls in British Columbia has height at 440 meters tall. It's three times higher than our best known natural landmark. Della Falls is best reached by boat, followed by a 22 kilometer uphill trek. But if that sounds too tiring, the falls still look great from further away. Number 6. Bay of Fundy. Stretching between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, the Bay of Fundy has tides with enough power to temporarily reverse the flow of several rivers that end in the bay. And at its highest, the tide rises a whopping 16 meters the highest in the world. That's all pretty wondrous in its own right, but it's pretty to look at too.
Number 5. The Sleeping Giant From Thunder Bay, this massive rock formation on the Sibley Peninsula looms large against the skyline, resembling a giant sleeping on its back. The rocky mass is actually the remains of an ancient volcano, and today the area is a national park. View it from a distance to see the giant or visit the park to hike to the top of the giant trail and Thunder Bay Lookout. Number 4. Guayanas. The Guayanas is a string of 138 islands about 80 kilometers off the coast of mainland. Only reachable by boat or plane, this is about as remote as things get. The archipelago is the ancestral home of the Haida people, and in their language, Guayanas means islands of beauty and boy. Does it deserve that title? Number 3. Panorama Ridge Hike to the top of this ridge in Garibaldi Provincial Park and you'll be rewarded with, well, a panorama and a stunning one at that. Black Tusk, Garibaldi Lake, Mount Garibaldi, Castle Towers and more sprawl out before your eyes. And this is a hike that keeps on giving, because the beautiful landscapes surround you on your trek from start to finish. Number 2. Dinosaur Provincial Park Walk with history's most famous giant reptiles at the aptly named Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta, where new fossils are being discovered all of the time. With 400 dinosaur skeletons, Alberta is home to some of the world's richest dino history. The undulating rocky terrain has a remarkably prehistoric feel to it. Head out on a hike and you might find some fossils of your own, or for guaranteed finds. You can take an organized fossil safari. Number 1. The Red Coast. No prizes for guessing what gave this area its name. There's red sand, red clay paths and red cliffs all contrasted against green fields and the blue of the Atlantic. As Canada's smallest province is just crying out for a road trip. Not to mention that it's been recently flushed with boutique hotels, cool cabins, wineries and breweries aplenty. Reminiscent of the billowing slopes of Mordor, these hills in Cape Bathurst, Northwest Territories, constantly give off thick plumes of smoke. But don't worry, this smoldering coastline is a natural phenomenon. The hills are packed with sulfur-rich lignite that ignites when it's exposed to air. The area has been burning and puffing away for centuries. <laughs> 